Hi everyone. Okay, so I was going to take my Facebook Live and put it on YouTube, but unfortunately I did it backwards and it looked like I was left-handed the whole time. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to redo a couple of these ornaments so you can see how I get them painted and decorated. And uh, <laughs> there was also a couple other little mishaps in the live. So I'm going to eliminate those and give you some tips along the way. All right, so these ornaments I absolutely love making and I think the reason I like them the most is because of all the paint pen work that we'll do at the end. But I do um, them the same way whether they're glass or plastic. Now these ones are glass. Um, this old one is plastic. I thought I was getting a plastic but unfortunately uh, I broke a whole bunch so then I realized that they were glass. So either way is you can do what I'm doing. Um, the thing about glass, so the, the, the pros and cons are the thing about glass is that they're gonna break. However, once I had a couple layers of paint on them, uh, it didn't break, so I think the paint helps it a little bit, but you have, they're more fragile. They have to be more careful, especially when you're working with kids doing them. The plastic, we found out during the live, is that the heat gun, which I was like, everybody dry your ornaments. People were uh, writing in the comments they were melting. <laughs> so the thing with the way I do my ornaments is that I like to dry between every layer. So because it was alive, I was using my heat gun and some of the plastic ones were melting, but um, not the glass. So keep that in mind too. If you're using plastic, just really make sure each layer is dry. That is why I recommend working on multiples at once. I've set up a little um, makeshift thing here to kind of hang them and I'll show you that. But uh, I work on like six or seven at once and it just really helps kind of um, get the different layers dry and then I can kind of hop around and not have to worry about it. So, all right, so we're gonna get started. What you're gonna need are some plastic or glass. Usually they come in a six pack, so that's great. I have these floral foam uh, stands here, which have been great for me to use this time around. I've also used, believe it or not, these, and I put my um, ornament right in one of these little um, acrylic inks. But I did run into a problem where some of these holes were too small for that. So I have this floral foam that you can buy at any craft store and I have a bunch of skewers and that's what I do between each layer. I just pop them in here and let them dry. Super easy, right? So I've got a couple of these set up, a little station right here, and then you're going to need your acrylic paints. Now here's the thing with the paints. If your paints are cheap, like they're the little craft ones that you find in the craft stores and the little tiny bottles, you may need a couple coats. Um, people have been telling me that their paint is thin. So I use my Nova colors because I love them so much. Uh, I don't use that much of it. So I only need uh, one layer of it. So I use Nova colors or you can use Liquitex or Golden or any paint you want. Just know that the less expensive your paint or uh, more crafty paint will not be as thick as acrylic paint. So try the acrylic paint, see if you've got a couple colors. That's all you really need are some, you know, a few colors and what your color palette is that you love. The other thing I do is I always paint a layer of white first. And I believe that the white is what makes these ornaments so bright. I'm just using regular white. You can use gesso. You can use a cheap white. Uh, you could use anything you want and all you need is one coat of that. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And then I have a variety of awesome paint pens. I love all the paint pens. I particularly like the brand Posca pens. Um, Posca paint pens, I think they are really great. They're super opaque. They're beautiful colors. So I'll be using those a lot. You can get Sharpie brand. There's many, many paint, paint, paint pen options out there. I do like working with some of the thicker nibs and that's because I can get some nice big dots right away, like this one, so pretty, right? And the other uh, paint pen that I use a lot, which I'm running out of unfortunately, is this liquid gold. This is what gets this gorgeous, beautiful, shiny gold on here. Hopefully we can get one of those today before it's really run out. 
And that's really all you need. You could also do a few other things, which I did not do in my live. I won't do in this one, but you could take your ornaments and brush some matte medium on there and even sprinkle glitter. You can get some gorgeous ribbon. There's so many things you can do. This is just to kind of get you started on a project. It's really fun with the kids if you want to do the plastic ones and, you know, have something for your tree or wrap it up in a gift and uh, give it to somebody you love. All right. So let's just get started. I'm just going to clear this off and we'll start with the first layer, which is white. Alrighty. So I actually am going to use this, um, cheap white acrylic. I thought I was going to use the Nova, but I'm just going to use this. You know, it's the first layer. You're never going to see it. It's really just to get some white down. So the way I use, the way I paint actually is with, um, through my finger. I <laughs> Just hold it that way. Okay. And if you don't want to do that, you can just hold it by the sides right here. And that should be good. I'm actually going to zoom us in a little bit. You may not see all the ornaments, but I'll grab them again. So I'm just going to, well, this is a little sticky. It's not very good white. But you just really need one layer. That's it. So I'm just going to paint this on here. See, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really sticky. It's cheap. So you get your white down. Have a little jar of water by your side. Get your white down. And then what I do is I just pop it over here onto the skewer and let that dry. Now, meanwhile, I've already got one ready to go. I've already got one coat down of red. But you can see how you can, you know, see the brush strokes, whatever, it's all fine. It's just a little bit of a little bit of a light white. You're, you're going to have this all covered up, so it doesn't really matter um, how thin that is. The white I have is a little sticky, but that's okay. So what I like to do is do a couple coats of one color. So I might take my six ornaments and do three of them with a nice bright red and then maybe I would do um, three of them with like green or something else even purple whatever colors you want the trick is is that I only do one sort of layer here or I do the whole thing and then I do a second coat of a different color so you can decide and for this I'm going to go work with the second color so all I did to get this red was to go into, I used this Nova red, it was awesome, a brush, and I just painted towards the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna take another color, and I just am grabbing some random brushes, and once, they, once I start working on these and they get, they're wet, it's a little tricky. They can get smushy, but you can always fix any little errors with, um, paint pens okay so don't worry about that too much so one of the things I like to do is when I'm painting on these ornaments is I don't like to blend the colors and that's why I let them dry between layers that's it and then I've got my orange and see how nice and bright that is so I'm gonna Put that one over here too and I'm just holding it gently and popping that one to dry. I have another one here. And I'm not trying to make them perfect in the middle. Just sort of like, it's almost like they're, it's hair, <laughs> it's ornament hair. <laughs> Depending on the size of your brush stroke, you'll see thick, thick or thin. You can add more. You can, the darker, I mean, the, the more paint you have, the more opaque you'll get. Okay, so that's the orange. And then let's say I had this green one. Let's see, I'm going to pop 
the orange in the water. I definitely don't want to do orange and green. No, thank you. But I do like using blue and green or purple and green. Really like this purple too. This is by Nova Deoxycine Violet. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of this color. With some of this weight, I actually think I'm going to grab um, my titanium white golden high flow, which I love to mix. This brush might be a little too small. We'll see how we do. I'm a very messy painter. Nothing is neat. Got my apron on. And I'm okay with that. All right, so you could even pretend that this is white for a second. This would be my first layer, so you could see me doing one. But what I like to do is start at the top and then just do these brush strokes down, just like this. Down towards the middle. Oh, look how pretty that is. The green and the purple. So I'm just going, I'm going to go around the whole thing. And you can see, I, uh, I'm not concerned about how this is all looking. I like it a little rough like that. They look like feathers to me. I think they're really pretty. And if you're doing this for the first time, it definitely does take a little getting used to holding them and painting at the same time, okay? So one thing I like to do is paint as close around this neck as possible because you're going to get the little bobble thingy, whatever it's called. Um, it's going to go over it, but I like it to be solid. And... It's hard to do it when you, you need to also hold that edge. So anyway, we'll do our best taking it off. You know, the good thing is acrylics dry pretty fast. So there's another one that's uh, got a second coat on it. So I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to take one of these good ones off for a second that's done. I'm just going to grab it and I know it might smudge a little bit, but for right now I'm just putting it on the skewer so it is going to dry. Let's see what other color. This one's pretty much, this one's almost dry. So we can go ahead and go right for a color on this one. And I think I'm going to continue with that purple. I think it's fun. I'm even going to go darker. And let's see what happens. The fun thing about doing dark color ornaments too is that you can use some beautiful like white paint pens and have it look like snow. You know, go with what your color preference is. So the white's not quite dry, so it's blending a little bit. And I'm just pushing, painting up. And I'm gonna let this one dry and then maybe do some pinks in here. All right, so I'm grabbing my fingers. I know it's gonna smush. I know my fingertips are gonna smush around the edges, but one thing you can do while that is drying, Let's see if I've got a good one. So this one has been handled so many times. It is a little smushed off and the paints come off. You can just go around the edges of this and paint it and hold this part. Paint that, hold this part and let that dry. See how pretty this one is with the weight on top of the purple. 
So again, you're gonna have a better experience if you have better paint, but I totally get it. We don't all have amazing paint everywhere. So um, use what you have and just experiment. Here's one where I did three colors. I did, whoopsie, I did a pink, a red, I did a pink, an orange, and a red, just the same way. All I'm doing is just kind of painting over and building up like two or three colors, and that is it. But I do have the two purple ones that I wanna finish up. So I'm gonna grab some pink. I'm gonna use the Nova Quinacridone Magenta and just grab a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this is the end of it, so I don't feel so bad dunking my orange paintbrush in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up. Wait till you see this color. Isn't that amazing? Love, 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 love. And you wanna have it pretty, you know, pretty thick. You wanna have a, enough to get your big wide brush strokes down. So this is good enough for right now. I'm gonna, so, you know, it's almost dry, not quite, but I'm just gonna go in and make some brush strokes this way. It's like it's getting my hair due. And that's it for painting a couple colors. Okay, I got one more of those. And then I wanna show you one other thing with the paints. Now this is really wet, but we're just gonna go for it. I wanna show you one other, things I, one other thing I do with the paints before we get to the paint pens. Whoa, see, now I'm really blending it. <laughs> and that's cool too. That could be pretty. All right, so I'm gonna put that one down. That one's pretty wet. All right, so if you have a small brush, and I'm gonna grab one that's already dry. I have this um, smaller round brush by King Art that I really like, and what color do I wanna do? I wanna do a color on top of this. And I'm thinking what color would do I want to show you this? Um, maybe I'll go with this pink. It's right here. I just wanted to show you too that besides the paint pens, you could also be doing some designs with a small brush. And all I'm doing is I'm holding this ornament with three fingers, really. You know, I'm just holding it and then I'm just turning it. I would definitely experiment and find different size brushes that you have to get your colors on. And these are just like dabs. These are just, you know, brush strokes. And it's not perfect. That's it. Because once you start putting the paint pens on it, you can cover up anything that's, you know, not perfect or looks a little funky. Might as well do this one too. See if I've got anything left. Maybe I'll just do some up at the top, like a flower. Oopsie. That's so easy. You can really go to town. Oh my gosh, I could have so much fun doing these.
Okay, I'm gonna let that guy dry. And now what I'm gonna do is take my heat gun and dry everything. All right, so for our paint pens, let's go right for it, see if I can get this gold to work. So I obviously have a piece of scrap down here. A lot of times too, when you're working with paint pens, you just wanna give it some little dabs, little dots, just to get the paint going. I think this is pretty dry. So one thing I love to do is do a circle in the middle. See, my paint pen's not cooperating. It's too runny. You don't want a runny paint pen. That mistake happened the other day in my life. And then I had to wipe it right off. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. So if you have a really runny paint pen, you can just go wipe it off if you do it pretty quickly. So again, I'm holding everything with my three fingers. It's not ideal that my hands are this dirty, but um, we're just gonna go for it. So I'm doing a circle and then I like to do another circle. So you could be doing this with a, just a wide paint pen. It doesn't have to be this gold fancy one. Can you see shine? And this is like a bullseye, but it's not perfectly round. It's a little bit wonky. And I like it that way. You know, it takes practice holding your ornaments too. And then I could even even out the wonkiness by visually just looking at them. So many fun things you can do with the gold. And while it's still nice and gold and not dried up, another thing I like to do are these little lines. So maybe what I would do, because you can you can see my finger smudges. What I would do is, if I was going to do this like an assembly line, I would do the gold bullseye first and just go one at a time and do those. And then I would come around to the sides to do more. Because it's not quite dry, you know, you have that risk of smudging. Paint pens are acrylic paints, so they also have to dry. So just a fun little element you can put around the outside. So I'm actually gonna put this back, let that dry, and let's grab another one. Okay, this is a fun thing I like to do is draw these kind of like, I guess they're like petals. Let's pretend they're petals. And I go all just to the neck. You could do this with a big white. You could do it with a nice bright blue. My petals are all different sizes and different lengths. I love the way this smells too. I'm sure it's toxic. Reminds me of those old design markers from back in the 70s. Now I'm really dating myself. Okay, so here is the gold petals. And I'm just gonna hold it. I did have a silver one of these. I gotta hold it, be, I gotta be very careful here. I did have a silver one, but um, I don't know what happened to that. Maybe I used it all up. So I'm gonna do the same thing I just showed you, and now I'm just holding 
it tight on the ground or on my table, not really the ground. I find it's a little easier for me to kind of hold it up in my hand, but I just want to show you there's other options. All right, so I'm going to pop that one back down. Let's grab another color. This is my nice big weight. Not that one. Let's see, maybe it's this Posca one. Hmm, one of these is my weight. Might be this one. <laughs> All my whites seem to be <laughs> used up. All right, we're going to go with this blue because this is really pretty. I'm going to try to see if this... Okay, this should be good. This should be good enough. So this blue is one of my favorite colors. I think it's called Aqua Blue. And I love this blue on, actually I really like this blue on the orange and pink, but I also really like it on this color too. You can see it right here. And then what I did was I drew around and round and round and round, and then I filled in a little bit more with the gold. And look, none of those lines are perfect. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna do something like that in this one. Just want to make sure it's dry. So I'm going to hold it with my hands and do that little petal again. Now I don't do petals on all of them. They're cute. And if your paint is not really dry, then you could really ruin your awesome Posca pens. So just be patient. Okay, so I've got my petals on that end. I'm going to hold it. Steady, and I'm going to kind of go around. I'm not going to do too much of the round because I feel like it's not quite dry, and I want to do some white dots there too. All right, so. Let me grab that, that gold again. And the blue and the gold are so pretty. I think the silver and blue would be pretty too. So I'm just kind of like roughly filling in where that pink was, just on some of them. That's probably all I'll do. Trying to get a little bit gooky. Okay, so you could also do, I'm gonna hold it up because that is not quite dry on the bottom. Is this deco color, it's so nice and thick. And it's got such great coverage. I can just do like one layer of these little petals. Where the blue, I might go back over again. Like if I had time and I really wanted it to be more opaque, I might go back over those again. Depends. Depends on my time. So pretty. Oh my goodness. All right. I want to get my weight to show you that. Let's just put that down for a second. Where is it? Where is it? It's not that one. Oh, maybe it's this one. Hmm. 
I never really think about my Sharpies until, I mean, my paint pens until I need them. <laughs> and I'm like, you can tell when it's totally done. Like, it doesn't even make it, that one doesn't even make a sound. All right, my white is, my white is gone. Darn it. All right, we're going to do um, this color. Is really pretty. I think this is lilac. And I'm going to pretend this is also white. But... You can go around and do these dots and they become, they're like little snowflakes. I love it. Just keep turning, almost like turning twister style right here. Because I haven't taken my hands off yet. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. There's my first release. Okay. It's just a really subtle little mark are the dots. And... I'll show you some that I've done. We already looked at that one, but isn't that gorgeous? So when you go around the edges and you keep holding it, this will start to maybe even come off. So if you're really concerned too, you can just paint around it again and then let that dry. But all of these, these little balls here come with these ornament doodads. That pop right on so you really don't have to worry about painting too much to the top part but I think they're so gorgeous especially if you have them like by the tree lights and hanging up they'll pick up all of that gold and shimmer so another thing I like to do is you can like I said do the glitter you could actually even put collage stuff on there. You can do anything you want. But I, I encourage you, I wasn't quite sure about this on my live, but I think we you need to do it because I've noticed that some of my old ones from last year have scraped some paint off, is I would recommend that you take some matte medium or some Mod Podge and just do a, a coat uh, once they're totally dry. You don't wanna do it when your paint pens are wet, but just do a coat of matte medium. It will keep it kind of varnished and you can choose to be matte or you can do gloss. If you want your ornament to be even shinier, you could do gloss. And I just think it will keep it, especially if you're giving it away for a gift. I just noticed this one from a couple years ago I picked up and where is it? I noticed like a little tiny scratch in there. So also get some beautiful ribbons. And I also signed these. So take a black little Sharpie and just sign, maybe it's upside, maybe, well, this is also where you see a lot of them on the tree, but just sign it somewhere really little if you want, aging 2019. This is another fun thing you can do is just draw round circles. I ended up selling so many of them, I don't have tons to show you, but um, I didn't sell any this year, I didn't have my time to. But this is also another fun thing I did where instead of the petals being round on the edges, they're just straight across. And then like every three, I just did a line of white dots. So every three, I just went like boom, boom, boom. And I thought that was really fun. Um, this one is where a lot of my dots are in this top part and then they're all different sizes. They're like fat little dots and little tiny dots with that bullseye. Anyway, I hope that you guys like this and, um, you know, just have fun. Remember the glass may not, um, may break, but you could heat dry it and the plastic definitely don't use the heat dryer. If anything, I would just let it dry in between. If you don't have a little system to hang them up, you can also put them on these 
little ink bottles and there's lots of people who have been posting back to me like how they're setting their display up so I would love to see yours too you can um, send me a photo or you can hop on over to my Facebook community and post it there I'd love to see your ornaments and have fun doing it and you guys I wish you a happy holidays okay bye bye